So in this video, we're going to learn how to create a really simple meme generator. So what we can do is we can add text to the top and to the bottom of our image. So if I say something like, hello world, this is a test. You can see the text is filled in as I type it and it's defaulted to this image here. And here's that image here. Here's another image I have. And what I can do is I can click generate meme and you can see this image below is created. So up here, what we have is a div with some text over the top of it. And then down here, what we have is an actual image. If I was to drag that image, into the address bar, you can see this is an image that I can now download. So that's what we're going to learn in this video. So let's get started. So we're going to be using a library called HTML to canvas. That's the library we're going to use because the way it works is we take this div and we pretty much just convert it to an image. So what we're going to do is convert the HTML div to an image and we do that using this library. So what we do is we click download and you want to download HTML to canvas.js. So after you've done that, what you want to do is go into the file, and here it is here. So you can see here it's called meme generator. I just have a bit of CSS up here. It's not that important, but what we notice is the width of the image is 300 and the height is 400 because that's the width and height of our div. And then down here, we set the image width and height to 400 and 300 again. And by default, I've just set image two is the default image. That's this image here. What I could do is I could change it to image one if I wanted just by changing it to image and then going in here and changing the value of our text box to image. And now you can see here is our new image. So this is actually really simple the way it works. So the first thing we do to get this effect where I can type and I can change the text as I type is really simple. All we do is every time I lift the key up, I run a set top function or a set bottom function. Set top changes the text on top, set bottom, changes the text underneath. And all I do is I set the HTML value of that div. So the div that holds this text up here and the div that holds this text up here is set just using this line of JavaScript here. And then what we do is we have this sort of output div and this is the div that holds the image that HTML to canvas generates for us. So whenever I click on generate, what we do is we grab the generate button. We add a click event listener to it. So whenever I click on it, we take the value of the top and the bottom and the URL, which is the value of the image here. So in order for this to work, your image has to be stored on the same domain as your server. So you can say I'm on the tutorial.local domain. It's a local domain set up on my computer. And if I was to drag this image in here, you can see it's at the same domain. And you can also see it's in the same folder. So that's why it's on the same domain. I couldn't drag a file off the desktop because HTML2 Canvas wouldn't be able to work with it because of restrictions in the browser. So just need to keep that in mind. So the URL is just the URL of the image, but it has to be on the server that I'm using. So that's why it's just a relative URL. It doesn't have a HTTP or anything. It's just the name of the file. And what we do is we grab the element meme and we set its source equal to the URL. So this image here is the image with the ID of meme. So if I scroll up, you can see there it is there. There's the image here and there's its ID. So we're targeting that image and we're setting that to whatever has been typed into this box whenever I click generate. Then what we do is we run HTML to canvas. And um, before we can run it, we obviously include it just like we would any other JavaScript file. So we include it into our project and then we run the HTML to canvas function. We target the meme container, which is if we scroll up, is this element here. So we run a function and what we do is we go to the output image. We set its source item, its source attribute equal to canvas dot to data URL. And we convert that to a PNG. So what HTML to canvas does is it grabs the meme container, converts it into a canvas, and it takes that canvas and generates an image. And that's all it does. And that's why it works as expected. All I have to do is say, for example, put an image to hello world. And I just click generate meme. You can see that image changed. And then straight after that, HTML2 canvas generated our image. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. But that's it for this video, and I'll see you next time.